Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Statistics Made Simple and I am Savita Walson. In this video, I'll be solving the new pattern question paper for the second PUCs. This is one of the question papers from the PU board for the new pattern for the second years. So the question paper will have total number of questions as 44. The time duration to solve the paper is 3 hours 15 minutes where 15 minutes will be the reading time. The maximum marks is for 100. There are certain instructions already printed on the question paper. That is a statistical table and graph sheets will be supplied on request. And you can make use of scientific calculators. And all the working steps should be clearly shown. And most important is section A should be written in the beginning of the answer booklet. Section A. The first main choose the correct answer from the choices given. There are five one mark questions. First question in a year in a locality out of 20,000 births, 180 mothers died due to childbirth complications. The maternal mortality rate is 5, 9, 18 and 20. So as you are aware, the maternal mortality rate formula is equal to a number of mothers who die during childbirth that is 180 divided by the total number of live births occurring in a population in a year which is 20,000 this you have to multiply by 1000 okay so the three zeros get cancelled and you get the answer as 9 so select option B that is 9 Second, last pair's index number is expected to have an upward bias, downward bias, no bias, none of these. The correct option is option A, that is an upward bias. Third, the relationship between mean and variance of a Bernoulli distribution is A, mean equal to variance, B, mean is greater than variance, C, mean is less than variance and D, none of these. So the correct option is B, that is mean is greater than the variance. Fourth, the standard error is used to A, decide the efficiency and consistency of the statistic as an estimator. B, obtain the confidence intervals of an estimate. C, standardize the distribution of test statistic in testing the hypothesis. And D, all of the above. So the op option is D. Fifth one, Graphical solution to LPP lies in the first quadrant because subdivision A is X is greater than or equal to 0, Y is less than or equal to 0, B X less than or equal to 0, Y less than or equal to 0, C X is greater than or equal to 0, Y is greater than or equal to 0 and D is X is less than or equal to 0, Y is greater than or equal to 0. The correct option is the non-negativity restriction that is x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is greater than or equal to 0. The second mean is matched the following. We have 5 into 1 equal to 5 marks allocated. So the sixth question is the crude birth rate. Then we have aggregative expenditure method, Bernoulli distribution, statistical hypothesis and the maximum of row minimums on the left hand side. On the right hand side, we have the options as statement regarding the parameters, maximum, cost of living index number, range is 0, 0,1 and measure of fertility. So as all of you are aware, the crude birth rate is nothing but the measure of fertility. So the correct option is E. Then the aggregative expenditure method is a method which is used to find the cost of living index number. So the correct option is C. For the Bernoulli distribution, we know that the range is 0, 1. So the correct option is D. A statistical hypothesis, as we know, is a statement regarding the population parameters. So the option is A. And a maximum of row minimums, which comes in game theory a chapter, is nothing but maximin, that is the option B. So the correct matches are E, C, D, A and B. 
Third mean, fill in the blanks by choosing the appropriate word from those given in the brackets. 5 into 1 is equal to 5. Seventh one, Pashi's price index number uses the blank quantities as weights. So the correct answer is, it is actually the current year. Year is missing in a question, but is the current year quantities as weights. Eighth one, if variance of a chi-square distribution is 20, the mean is. So I'll show the calculation below. We know that the variance of the chi-square distribution is 2n and this is equal to 20. So which implies n is equal to 20 divided by 2 which is equal to 10. And we know that the mean of the chi-square distribution is e of chi-square is equal to n. So the correct answer is 10. Ninth one, a statistical constant of the population is called a, it's nothing but a parameter. The tenth one, a dash is a quality characteristic which does not conform to specifications. So the correct answer is a defect. 11th one, the payoff at the position of the saddle point is called the value of a game. Fourth main, answer the following questions. 5 into 1 is equal to 5. So the 12th question, mention a use of life table. So there are about 4 to 5 uses of the life table. So you can write one of the uses, it is used to estimate the future population. Thirteenth one, write the formula for Kelly's fixed weight price index number. So it is P01 of K is equal to, an easy way to remember is write summation P1 by summation P0. For Kelly's price index number, the weights are the fixed quantities. So multiply the numerator and denominator by Q into 100. 14 question, define time series. So data arranged in chronological order in accordance to time is called as time series. Fifteenth one. If z is a standard normal variate, write the probability of z greater than 0. So you can either draw the diagram or just visualize it or you can write the answer directly. So this is a standard normal curve. You know that the center line is z equal to 0. The left extreme is minus infinity and right extreme is infinity. So z greater than 0 is nothing but the area from 0 to infinity which I am just marking it. So probability of z greater than 0 in birds is nothing but the shaded area which is area from 0 to infinity. All of you are aware that the total area from minus infinity to infinity is 1. So the area from 0 to infinity this will be 0 0.5. So the answer is 0 0.5. 16th question is what do you mean by inventory? So it is a physical stock of goods for future use. Now moving on to section B that is the fifth main answer any five of the following questions. 
so there will be 8 questions and you have to answer 5 and each of them carries 2 marks so 5 into 2 is equal to 10 the 17th question state 2 norms for selection of the base year so firstly it should be economically stable I am just writing the sentences short but you can elaborate in the exam and second it should not be too distant from the current year. Eighteenth question, write the four phases of a business cycle. The first one is prosperity. Second, we have recession. The third phase is depression. And the fourth step is the recovery. Nineteenth question, mention two assumptions of interpolation and extrapolation. So here, I didn't want to waste time writing the points. So there are three assumptions. Out of these three assumptions, you can write any two of them. So first is there are no sudden jumps in the values of the dependent variable from one period to another. Second, there is a sort of uniformity in the rise or fall of the values of the dependent variable. And third, there will be no consecutive missing values in the series. 23rd question, write two methods of acceptance sampling. First, we have single sampling plan or SSP. And second, we have double sampling plan which is also abbreviated as DSP. Twenty-fourth question. Given R equal to 4000 units per year, C1 is rupees 1.2 per unit per year and C3 is rupees 150, determine the economic order quantity. Now this question is from inventory theory and it is under model 1 without shortages. So let us write the formula for the economic order quantity also known as EOQ which is given by consider Q to the power 0 is equal to 2RC3 divided by C1 which is root 2 into 4000 into 150 divided by 1.2 so on simplification you get root of 10 lakhs so therefore q to the power 0 is equal to 1000 orders 24th video I have prepared with the intention that it would help many of the students who will be writing their final examinations from 2nd PUC. Thank you all for watching and look out for my next video where I will find solutions to the questions from section C of the model question paper.